Okay, this one is about uh, the oil pump and whether it's piped with one or two pipe system. If it's a one pipe system, there will only be one pipe uh, coming to the pump. Now you can see there, that's an inlet. There's one on the other side too. Usually these things have at least two inlets on them. Okay, that's always going to be pretty much the same. One pipe or two pipe. But if your system is two pipe, you have to make an adjustment. Okay, on the top of the pump here is the regulator. Uh, you can see there's an adjustment here. It's supposed to be the little acorn cap goes over this. And on the opposite side is the output for the gun line. And this is a gun line coming up here. Okay. This one's set up for two pipe because I got a fitting here. Now I had an inlet down here on this side. And I got a return line here. If I'm running this thing on two pipe, there's a plug here and I pull this plug out and then uh, I have to install the bypass plug. Now I'm going to show you what that is inside here. Okay, looking down on this, you can see there's a little Allen head plug down there. That plug has to be installed if it's a two pipe system, but it must be taken out if it's a single pipe system. Don't get this mixed up. What that is, is if that plug's out of there, and it kind of looks like a set screw when you, when you take it out. If that plug is out of there, when this pressure regulator right here, well, the pressure regulator, let's talk about it for a minute. The pressure regulator is just a spring. These pumps are made, you know, they'll put out four or five hundred pounds of pressure, whatever the motor will take, actually. Uh, sometimes they'll blow a seal, but uh, they're positive displacement pumps, so they do put out high pressures. Well, if we set this at 100 pounds, then when we get to 100 pounds, there's a valve in here that is spring loaded, and the spring is compressed down. And when it's compressed, it opens a valve. And the valve goes back into the body here of the pump, and the oil comes back in again. So only what's going through this line is actually fed out at 100 pounds. And the rest, the excess amount of oil, because there's always more oil than you need, goes back into the pump and comes through again. Well, that would be how it would be set up if it was a single pipe system. But if you've got a tank that's lower than the uh, burner or you, your oil line has to go from a low tank to a high spot and then maybe down again, they usually put two pipe system in. So instead of recycling into the pump, it recycles back to the tank. The idea behind that is just to avoid needing to bleed the thing. If I'm having to suck from a tank that's low, then uh, I can't always pull it up with just uh, a vacuum on the line. So if we just use the pump to pump oil, as when it gets up that 100 pounds, instead of going back into the re uh, return of the pump, it actually just goes to the tank, then it'll pump its gear set capacity, that's what it's called, and uh, you won't have to bleed it. So that's the only reason it's, those things are there. But remember, if you put the bypass plug in, and then instead of uh, putting your line here, I went back and put a plug here, which was originally in these things, then what would happen is there's no place for the oil to go once it bypasses. So it bypasses, can't go any place, so the pressure builds up, and it usually blows a seal in the pump. And it, it takes the pump out, it's, it's trash. Okay, to summarize, single pipe system, you need the bypass plug out so it can recycle into the return of the pump the excess oil. 
two pipe system you want the bypass plug in so it can pump the gear set capacity back to the tank and that is the bypass plug for the oil burner the different pumps are going to all be in different places all these things are in different places a lot of the newer ones have actually got a little diagram on the end that tells you where they're at but if you're replacing a pump one of the things you have to make sure is whether it's single pipe or two pipe system and that's it